All right, all right, all right, all right. I know we're all excited about tonight's show, guys. Welcome to the Tonight Show. I am your host, Johnny Bubbles, and I'm excited to see you guys here tonight. Tonight we have two special guests coming straight off of their brand new film of the Star Wars that is dropping this holiday season, guys. I know you're excited. I'm excited. So let's get right into it. We got Genesis Lafricardi and Seth Fowler. Let's go. Come on in, guys. Sorry about that. Come on over. Come on in. Get friendly. Get friendly. Those bus tickets you gave us to get here were uh, really great. Sorry, they can't hear you. Hold the mic. Said the bus tickets you gave us to get here were great. Okay, I'm glad. First class? Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, that's all I could afford. Uh, right. Uh, all right, well, let's get started. Are you guys excited? We are excited. Thank yeah. you for having us. I'm super here. excited for today. We're going to be doing the Mystery Box Challenge, which oh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. So we have a whole bunch of assortments. Let me just ask this question Are any of you guys allergic to anything? Spiders, <laughs> bugs, peanuts? Bees. All of the yes, all all of the all of those things. Well, we luckily we have uh, emergency on hand, so you guys will be okay if anything uh, happens to come out and bite you or sting you. You guys did sign the waivers. Don't worry about it. No worries, my legal team will take care of that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and tell us a little bit about your role in Star Wars. Like, how did that go? You go first. Um, I've got to say that playing um a robot that was only on scene, or in, in a scene for about five to 10 seconds was probably one of the most fulfilling things I've ever done. Um, just my line, be boop, yeah. was... <laughs> Which is great, by the way. I don't know if you've seen all the memes everywhere. It's just blowing up yeah. crazy. You couldn't see my face, but you know, my right. mom was still proud. So right, I mean, but we could tell your voice, be boop is, we yep. know it's you from now on. Yes, yes, I get free drinks at every bar. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, awesome. So what about you, Genesis? I mean, playing Venus, the queen of uh, pla planet Gizmo, was really great as well. Never been there. Yeah, it was, yeah. it's a great scene. You How was seen that? It, yet. it was really good. The check was better, so that was better. Hey, got to get that bag, right? Yeah, did you not get that? No. He didn't get picked? I just, I'm just happy to be in Star Wars. I think that's the most important thing. Hey, but at least you have free drinks from now on Beat Boop, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're excited. To, we're excited. To, uh, yeah, exactly. Right here, free waters. And as you can see, the labels have been peeled because they didn't cut the check. Wow. So let's go ahead and enjoy your guys' water if you guys get thirsty. Thank you. But now, let's go ahead and move on to our other set. And let's do this mystery box challenge. You guys ready? We are ready. Let's get it. We're ready. Woo! Uh, Hypebeast mystery box? That's the only thing I've experience with. Um... um it's definitely going to be hype. Okay. And there's definitely some beast in there. So let's go ahead and get with it. Woo! All right, we're ready. Uh, yeah, actually, everyone bring your chairs. <laughs> let's go, low budget. Should I put this down? Uh, yeah, just go ahead and sit on the table. Right. Hopefully it doesn't roll. Okay, all right. Um, okay. Just don't get caught up on it. <laughs> right, let's move on. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh. Think you're doing great? My blank paper is here, you know, I need to know what's going on in the show and my water. My water All right. Let's get it. All right. We'll take a quick, quick break. <laughs> Can we get help with this? Can we get help with The mystery box challenge or what's in the box, right? So let me go ahead and give you the rules of the game. We have some Comedy Garcons here. Gotcha. The object of the game is for you to guess what's in the box. Okay. Anytime you get it wrong, I'm dirty in the shoes. We're gonna go ahead and put these in the box. I should do one for you and one probably for Genesis when she comes over. So we'll throw this one over here. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's Are do it. Are you excited? Yeah, of course. All right. I touch weird stuff all the time. It's great. Let's so this get is it. normal for me. All right. Do so you want to go ahead and just turn around for me real quick so I can have one of my Oh, great... is it not in the box yet? It's not in the box yet. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. You want to go ahead and uh, bring that out, Hayden? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, it tried to bite me. How is that illegal? <laughs> all right. You go ahead and turn around. Okay. Now. The only rule I have, two rules here. You cannot look inside the holes, and please be gentle. But you can touch as many times as you want. Once you give me your final answer, you have to say, 
This is my final answer. And if it's correct, shoe stays clean. Okay. But if it's wrong, shoe gets dirty. Okay. All right. That's no problem. Let me go it. ahead and let me, let's start off with some tomato sauce over here first. <sighs> I'm going to have it ready. Okay. Go ahead and uh, reach into that box and <laughs> good luck. <laughs> 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 oh, is this spaghetti? Spaghetti it is! All right, all right, all right. All right, we're gonna have to ask you to turn around again. Oh, man, this one's gonna be messy. That's gross. That is Jello? That is just Jello. You're on a roll here. Is it the uh, the soft bristle bro? Oh, you got it! It's a Yeezy. Okay. I think it's a V1. I just don't know what colorway it could be. Give me a colorway. Pirate black. Mm. Uh. Man, what was it? One off one. Is that Velcro? Is it? Feels like it. Is it Velcro? <laughs> you know what? I think I, I know no what these idea. are. I think these are those Velcro things you can like tie up wires with. Is that what they are, Kiki? Damn! <laughs> You're too good at this thing, man. You are just too good at this thing. All right. Well, I don't want to waste all my goodies on you. Okay, that's fine. We we'll got tomato it. sauce on it. I might as well just throw some cream of chicken. Just it to might, be fun. Might as well. You did yeah. great. All right. Awesome. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull these out. Oh, it's coming out of the hole on the side. <laughs> oh, coming out of the hole on the side right there? Woo! It's all over well, my fingers too. You're going to have to clean these later. <laughs> it smells pretty bad. We got to let these dry outside in this Arizona heat. But I'm going to put those to the side for right now. The Phoenix special. You did a great job. Thank you. Honestly, Appreciate it blew it. me away. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. All right. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll meet up the Genesis. All right. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now we are back, joined with Genesis. Genesis, how are you? I'm doing good. So you were in the green room yes. while Seth went ahead and went first, mm -hmm. as you can see. It's a disaster. It's a little messy in here. We're going to leave the shoe in there as well because I don't feel like taking it out. Let's do this. Okay. All right. First off, we have you turn around. All right. All right. Don't peek. Don't peek. All right. If we get the first item, please, everyone give a round of applause. First item. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, are you going to start off with that, dude? Like, that's what you're going to start off with? If you want to go straight in there, you can. Just be gentle. Hold okay. on, I gotta pick up this flap a couple of times. My so. heart is beating. I can't. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whoa. You're like scared of this. Boy. Just go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, it's not bad. Okay, it's like, it's cold. It's like jello. Is it jello? So you find out. <laughs> um, it, like yams. Yams or jello? Yams? Jello. It is jello! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna turn around again. It is, it is, a, it's, a, it's, it's a cake. It's a cake. It's a cake? It's like a, a sponge cake. Alright, sponge cake it is not! <laughs> is it pasta or is it mac and it's cheese? It's pasta macaroni. My final answer. So like pasta? Macaroni. You said pasta. Yeah. It was macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Let's go ahead. All right, Turn yeah. around. Give a round of applause. All right. Are you ready? This last one. Okay. We're going to use the rest of the tomato sauce we have here. All right. <laughs> All right. It's okay, Genesis. You're fine. Oh. You're Fine, you're fine. Okay, we're just gonna do it. I feel like it's something's moving. Is it? Is it me? You're gonna have to search for it because it's definitely not staying there. I. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna touch it. Oh, we're to the back. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it's something. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. You got me. Just 
pour the tomato sauce on the shield. No. Come on, come on, come on, come come on, on. back, come on back. Oh, you scared me. Oh, shit. Don't look. You cannot look. Just pour the tomato. It definitely moved. I'm going to pour the tomato sauce either way. Okay. You cannot look. You want me to do it again? Yeah. yeah, I can see it right now. You're fine. It's moving. It's moving. All right, audience, do we want to say that she's done a great job on this? Yeah. She did a great job. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> there was a fake spider. Let's go ahead and throw some applesauce on it. All right, guys. That's the wrap up for our guests. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and as you guys just saw we had a crazy sneaker competition where we almost completely destroyed these CDG Converse's. Um, and I know you guys can't smell them, but it's probably a good thing because they smell terrible. This is like the worst smelling pair of shoes I've ever, well that's not true, but it's pretty close. <laughs> this is actually getting all of my gloves. Um, today we're gonna be cleaning these up using the Rejuvenator 3 Brush Advanced System. And uh, hopefully we can make these look brand new again. So the first step is removing the laces of the shoes. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got the laces out, I'm gonna pull out the insole because it also got destroyed. There we go, look at that. And then I'm gonna throw in the shoe tree. And I'm gonna make sure that the shoe tree fits in there perfectly, so I'm gonna adjust the fit. There we go, now that we've got the shoe tree in, right there, we're gonna take some of the Rejuvenator Advanced Sneaker Cleaning Solution and drop a couple drops into this bowl of water. Okay, now the next step is I'm gonna take the soft bristle brush, swirl it around in the water solution, and start scrubbing. So now that I've done a first pass on the shoe with the soft brush, what I'm gonna do is start taking care of the insole. So now that I've finished up the insole, what I'm gonna do is start going at the shoe with the medium brush. And this brush is great because it starts to take out some of the more inset stains, some of the stains that uh, you can't get with the soft brush. So now that we've taken care of all the tougher stains with the medium brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the stiff brush, and I would only use this on the midsole and the outsole of the shoe. Cool, so now that the midsole and the outsole is clean with the stiff bristle brush, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the laces these disgusting, stinky laces, <laughs> and drop them in the Rejuvenator cleaning solution right here in this bowl. Kind of swish them around a little bit. Then what you want to do is kind of pick up the laces and rub them between your hands. Cool. Now that the laces are done and they actually look pretty good after what they looked like before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shoe, the insole, and the laces and throw them into the laundry bag. And you actually wanna make sure that you're keeping the shoe tree in the shoe when you wash it in the washing machine.
All right, let's take this to the wash. Okay, so the next step is we wanna take the advanced sneaker laundry detergent. We wanna pour in about an ounce. We wanna set up the washing machine on a regular cycle and then use only cold water. Welcome back, it's the next day, but before we actually get a chance to check out the sneakers and see what Rejuvenator did to them and how much it actually helped, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And now that you've done it, let's check out the shoes. But here they are, the cleaned up CDG Converse's Looking fresh, looking super clean actually. I was, I was a little bit skeptical. I've never thrown tomato juice on my shoes before, so I've never had a chance to clean it up and try it for myself. But all the spots that I thought would have stained, completely out, it's kind of crazy. Wow, it really did a great job. The laces too, like the laces are super absorbent and I thought that they would actually hold a lot more of the, uh, the sort of dye from that tomato juice, but they didn't. Every, I mean, it looks brand new. And the insole as well looks great. This is crazy. The Rejuvenator 3 brush laundry system and also the, uh, the laundry detergent itself they did a great job to clean these sneakers up. If you want to check out any of these awesome products for yourself and maybe clean up your own pair of completely destroyed sneakers, make sure to head on over to rejuvenator.com and grab the products for yourself. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Rejuvenator for having me out. Make sure to check out my channel, Seth Fowler. I'll see you guys in the next one.